Hello and welcome to English 652, that's Digital Rhetoric and Pedagogy. Uh, I'm the, your professor, uh, Dr. Matt Barton, but uh, please just call me Matt. And I wanted to take this opportunity, first of all, to welcome you to the course. Uh, sorry this has been a little bit of a delay, a delay getting this uh, first video out. It's actually been a, a sort of a nasty flu or cold thing that was uh, uh, really, really uh, keeping me back, but that's uh, over now, so uh, hopefully we can make up for some lost time. Uh, so what I wanted to do in this uh, this video is just quickly go over the, the syllabus, uh, talk about some of my ideas for the course, uh, some of the upcoming projects, and also to, to hear back from you on a few points. Uh, so I'll just uh, jump right into this. I'm here on the uh, Canvas uh, syllabus uh, for the course. And uh, let's see, uh, then my office hours, my office is in uh, Building 51, Room 158. And most of my office hours this semester are in the uh, early afternoon, noon to three o'clock. Uh, so please, if you have any questions, comments, or just want to stop by and say hello, that's fine. Uh, just uh, room 158. I might be out uh, temporarily, so if you want to, if you uh, are coming in from a long ways off or something, make sure to email me first, so I can make absolutely sure to be there for you. Uh, the required textbooks, uh, I have them here. There's uh, blogs, wikis, podcasts, and other web tools. That's Will Richardson, and I think this will probably be the most hands-on. Uh, book of the semester. It's uh, really oriented towards uh, teaching with technologies and a lot of it's very easily applicable to uh, English 191 or whatever writing courses you might be teaching. I also have a book here by Kurt Squire. Uh, this is Video Games and Learning, Teaching and Participatory Culture uh, in the Digital Age. Uh, so I saw this and I'm personally very excited about the uh, applying video game methodologies to, uh, to learning so this is something I definitely wanted to put on the syllabus. Uh, and then I have this one, uh, multi Multimodal Literacies and Emerging Genres. This is an edited collection, and it covers uh, lots of different types of uh, multimodal essays. So if you don't know what that is, uh, a lot of compositionists or writing, uh, college writing instructors are uh, moving beyond uh, standard essay projects and doing things with uh, what we used to call uh, uh, multimedia or digital media, uh, bringing in just different kinds of uh, technologies, different kinds of communication tools. So uh, I think that's exciting stuff too. So I think that's a pretty good reading list. And I'll be supplementing that, of course, with some online readings uh, periodically. Uh, now the required technology, uh, I've got a couple of questions about this already. Not really expecting you to have a high-end uh, PC or anything. I would imagine any $100 Two or three hundred dollar uh, maybe computer PC or Windows should be fine for this course. Uh, if you're if you have an iPad, an iPhone, or some kind of smartphone, you'd probably be able to do most assignments just with that. Uh, I'm not sure about all though. Uh, some of these uh, technologies I want to get into might require a computer, so uh, I'll, I'll try to give you a heads up when I know more about that. Uh, you've already done some of the nuggets, uh, so I won't go into uh, into that right now. Although I will say I'm enjoying them quite a lot. I'll hopefully get to uh, jump in there soon and uh, make some responses of my own. Uh, we also have uh, uh, these YouTube video assignments. This will be in conjunction with a tool called Edpuzzle. And I'll put a question in here uh, now so you can see what Edpuzzle, uh, how Edpuzzle works. So I just take a moment and tell me if you've ever used a YouTube or a video uh, in one of your classes and how you used it. And so you can see their Edpuzzle lets you put in questions that you can ask your students. It's really useful for an online class. Uh, so anyway, I want to be telling you how to use Edpuzzle. Uh, you can make your own video or uh, we can string together some existing videos. I'll show you how to do that uh, later on. Anyway, that's one of the uh, hands-on projects. We also have a podcast assignment. I want you to experiment with uh, podcasting and SoundCloud. It's a way you can make comments on a podcast timeline. It's kind of interesting. I will also talk about wikis. Uh, I got a PowerPoint game project I want to do uh, share with you. A lot of people just think about PowerPoint as being, a, I guess, kind of a supplement to a lecture uh, or a presentation, but you can actually make interactive uh, apps with it, I guess, for lack of a better word. And what I have in mind there is a fun little uh, choose your own adventure style game uh, that you can make with PowerPoint and hopefully uh, leverage some of the readings, especially that uh, video games and learning book. Uh, there's also a tool I wanted to try out called Twine, uh, which is uh, also a choose-your-own-adventure style uh, game-making tool. And again, I think that style, that choose-your-own-adventure thing, if you've ever seen those books, uh, I think it's pretty, it shouldn't be too hard for you to imagine how something like that might serve an educational purpose. 
uh, with whatever your subject matter is. I uh, also want to show you uh, Kahoot. Now we won't be able to use Kahoot in an online environment like this because it's meant to be in a face-to-face -face class, uh, but still I think it's really fun uh, for you to see and make, uh, make a quiz with that. Uh, and then if we have time I'll get to these other two. Uh, Inform 7, uh, this is a, a game to make uh, full-on text uh, games, basically you make a text game or activity. Uh, and everything is uh, in text format. So usually if you're playing a text adventure like Zork, uh, what, what happens is you read a description of a room, you know, you see a house in front of you, there's a mailbox here, and then the player can type in responses like open the mailbox or, or go inside the uh, the house. And you can uh, program in responses to whatever those commands are. Uh, I, li I think this is useful for us uh, as writing instructors because it is all text-based and you don't have to have any experience with graphics or anything like that. I think it'll be just, uh, it'll be creative if nothing else. I think you'll have some fun with that. Uh, and then uh, lastly, definitely, this will be in the if we have time category. Uh, I've talked to Mark Gill over in iCell from the Viz Lab about doing some 3D printed objects. And this is kind of interesting. Again, to come back to this idea of multimodal uh, assignments. Uh, sometimes a writing assignment, quote unquote, might not even be a, uh, you know, standard essay at all it could be some kind of object and some type of rhetorical artifact and so that that's pretty far out stuff uh, I'll admit but at any rate I think it would be fun for you to play or to print out some kind of 3d object and see what that's like uh, and then we'll have these uh, I'll have more of these uh, lecture videos or I like to think of them more as discussion videos and uh, we'll wrap up just with a, what I call a culminating reflective essay and that is just, uh, you're thinking all the way back to now, to the end of the semester, what you learned, uh, maybe reflect on some of the uh, some of these projects we will have done, what you learned uh, from doing those and what you might like, how you might like to supplement that or follow up uh, after this course. So that'll be the last thing. Uh, so I'll stop here. If you have any questions about any of this material so far, uh, go ahead and let me know. Okay, so I think that will be the uh, the end here, I just have a couple of things on my class conduct and policies uh, here on the syllabus. Uh, I expect you to be logging into this uh, website at least two or three times per week. And I like to think about it as having the same time commitment as a face-to-face -face class. You know, I probably don't need to tell you all that. Uh, but every now and then students take an online class, I think it'll be a, a really easy A and not as much work. So <laughs> I don't follow that model. Uh, and then also, if you do have, uh, if, if you have problems with your computer or you're not very tech savvy, uh, just uh, plan to take advantage of the Husky Help Desk. Uh, their number is 320-308-2077. And they can help you with most issues, Windows, uh, Macintosh issues. Uh, if it's something pertaining to something like uh, Kahoot or Twine, uh, you're probably better off coming to my office or, or just emailing me and we can try to figure it out. But uh, in any case, you will need to have access to the, to the internet and a computer to be able to take this course, uh, so keep that in mind. All right, I think that will uh, do it for now. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, which I don't think I have, uh, have I listed it here? Yes, yes, blog postings. Uh, so what I want to do is set up a WordPress site, and I've already set up the basic uh, shell of this. Uh, there's not a whole lot there now, but what I'd like to do is develop that into a, a blog and for, for all of us to participate on. And what I like uh, when we get to that part of the course, uh, I want you to be looking at technologies, software, apps, or whatever uh, that aren't already on the syllabus or that you're not, maybe it's something you, you've used already or maybe it's something you want to learn more about. Uh, but I think that would be a good, a good place to uh, introduce some of these things and talk about them as teachers and uh, discuss ideas for how we might use them or <laughs> why we might not want to use them. Uh, all that sort of thing. So that'll be just kind of like a real blog. I mean, it is a real blog, right? And we'll talk about uh, writing instruction, or write, uh, teaching writing with technology, digital rhetoric and pedagogy. All right, I feel like I've gone on uh, probably longer than uh, expected here, so I'll leave it. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, whatever, uh, go ahead and put that into uh, Edpuzzle now. And thank you very much, and I look forward to uh, many more sessions with you.